Hey everyone, it's Miss Brandon from the Benjamin Branch of the Greensboro Public Library. Today I'd like to share with you a young adult title that I recently read and really enjoyed. American Panda by Gloria Chow. Well, I say I enjoyed it. I enjoyed most of it, but some of it was pure agony. I have a really hard time when people are going through embarrassing situations, either in the movies or in a book, you know, when you're physically cringing in like sympathetic embarrassment for somebody else. There were several times I had to put this book aside and just process the latest humiliation our main character undergoes, but it's really funny and really good. So I enjoyed most of it. The main character of this book is Mei Lu, the 17-year-old daughter of Taiwanese immigrants who's starting her freshman year at MIT. Mei is a good, obedient daughter who has spent her whole life obeying her parents and listening to their plans for her. Go to MIT, get into a good medical school, become a doctor, marry a fellow doctor, no, marry a fellow Taiwanese doctor, and then have a bunch of children. To do anything else is a disappointment, is selfish, is wrong, bad. A reason to be disowned, like her older brother was disowned. Cut off from her parents, physically, emotionally, financially. May knows and fears that threat, and she's happy to be at MIT. But May is a germaphobe. And the thought of being a doctor and having to touch germ-ridden patients makes her want to hurl. And the guy that she really likes is Japanese-American, not Taiwanese-American. And should she really have to sacrifice her future for her parents' approval and love? The author, Gloria Chow, says this book was inspired by her own childhood as a first-generation Taiwanese-American. These are the issues that many children of immigrants face, having to live up to their parents' expectations of their future, knowing how much their parents sacrificed for them. One of the things that I really appreciated about the book was how emotionally transparent May was in the book as we're reading her thoughts and feelings, allowing us, the reader, to empathize with the way she feels pulled in so many different directions between family and friends and self. And I also really enjoyed the peek inside her Taiwanese American culture. Hearing about stinky tofu, learning about homeopathic uses for combs, and finding out why some numbers are considered unlucky. Finally, I loved watching May evolve throughout the course of the book, connecting with her roommate, opening up to Darren, reestablishing a relationship with her brother, and finally being honest with her parents. So if you enjoy painfully realistic stories about people who feel like oddballs and are looking for their people who make them feel like they belong and accept them for who they are, if you like stories that let you peek inside other cultures and the way other families work, if you enjoy books that make you laugh one minute, cry the next, and cringe the next, then I highly recommend American Panda by Gloria Chow. Now for the twist. This book begins in Chow Chow's, which is a Taiwanese American restaurant redolent with the smell of a uniquely Asian dish. Stinky tofu. I must admit that I have neither tasted nor smelled stinky tofu, but I have had a lot of tasty tofu served with different but equally delicious aromatic sauces and dips. So I'm gonna show an easy way to prepare tofu. And in honor of May and her mother's relationship in American Panda, recipes for a trio of dipping sauces that are found in Katie Chin's Everyday Chinese Cookbook, 101 Delicious Recipes for My Mother's Kitchen. But let's start with the tofu. All you need is firm tofu and oil. The first thing you have to do is squeeze a lot of the moisture out of the tofu. I do this between two baking pans with heavy stuff on top. Now while that's draining for 30 minutes, we're gonna bake our trio of sauces. The first up is a sriracha mayo sauce, which is just my mayonnaise, sriracha, and a squeeze of fresh lime juice. 
Keep that in the refrigerator while you make the others. The second is a simple sauce with just soy sauce, balsamic vinegar, and some finely chopped scallion. Our third sauce is a little more complicated and does involve a little bit of cooking. To a small saucepan, you're gonna add hoisin sauce, peanut butter, water, and some rice vinegar. You put it on moderately high heat and as soon as it boils, take it off and put it in a serving dish and top with some crushed peanuts. Back to our tofu. After 30 minutes, it should have drained nicely and you're gonna cut it into even pieces. I made mine a little too small. You're gonna then toss it with some oil, any oil of your choice, and you can also use spray oil. Then you place it on a parchment, co parchment covered baking dish and you'll bake it at about 400 degrees for anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes. Toss every 10 minutes or so until it's the crunchy texture you desire and then enjoy. And don't forget, the Greensboro Public Library is open online all day, every day with downloadable ebooks, audiobooks, movies, music, and more.